So this is my view right now on Dallas Road. Uh, you cannot, you can't park here overnight anymore um, because there was a lot of neighborhood people that complained about all the RVs that were parked down here. Uh, you now can only park here for three and a half hours at a time. And um, there are certain hours where you can't park here, but it's weird hours like 1 to 4 a.m. or something like that. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to park here for now and have a little nap for my two hours or so I have left after uploading the last video. And then I'm going to go in such a showers again. What else is new? Oh, look at this. His hair is in need of a shower. <laughs> and sometimes Duster wants to cuddle in this small space that is my back seat. <laughs> like there already isn't a, a challenge with the amount of room back here and the heat. But he's so cute. He's just so cute. So, yeah, I'll give him his cuddles. If you can find me a shower. <laughs> Going in a walk down the gorge with Esther. Trying to find Wi Fi. What I do like though is that there are lots of shady spots, right, Dust? We like the shady spots. And it's a beautiful view, which doesn't hurt at all either. Hey, what you doing, bud? So I think these little tuna snack things that come with the crackers are going to become a favorite, aren't they? Because you love tuna, and I love tuna. <laughs> he may end up getting more of the tuna than the cracker, and I'll probably end up without cracker, but... Mm. <laughs> sort of on a last ditch effort, I thought it was normal. And I started looking up stuff on a swim all night and happened upon Sax Point. And I don't think I've ever been here before. It's really nice. And there's shade, internet, and bathrooms. No showers. But hey, this is pretty good so far. So we're just going for a walk. Baby dust. <laughs> He's pretty happy right now. And that makes me happy. Like, look at this view from here. This is still at Sax Point. I swear I've never been to this part. Like, I've been to Macaulay Point Park, which is just sort of around the corner over there. But this is beautiful. And look at these beautiful flowers. Does anyone know what those are? I'm not good with plants at all. Like, it's all green and lush. And you can see the U.S. across there. Very beautiful. Duster, you're not allowed in that area though. There are dog areas and non-dog areas here. I'm at Macaulay Point now, and my friends actually had a wedding there on that green spot a few years back. But the best thing is, the parking lot over there, there's a whole section right by that tree that's shaded. So I found some shaded parking. Um, but Duster decided he wanted to go for another walk. So we're just out here, you know, enjoying the view. Look at it. I mean, it's pretty much the same as uh, Sax Point, because that's right over there. You can probably see the flag. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Sax or McCoy Point goes up and around. You see it, those um, that fencing up there. You can go up, up, up there. We'll do that if Duster decides, but we'll just see. I guess there's one thing to note about this experience is that it's really getting me to learn about where I live <laughs> and all the things around me because I've only been here a few times in my life mostly as a child so yeah well now that I found a shady spot to have the color I'm gonna lay here and do some reading this book is called Bonk a curious coupling of science and sex by Mary Roach you know that feeling you get when you've been camping or to a multi-day rave for a music festival and you come home and you have that first shower? I have that feeling right now. My ex-boyfriend let me have a shower at his place today and my God, do I just ever feel rejuvenated. 
<sighs> so much better. Oh, excuse me. I think that this would be a whole different kind of experience if it was something I was choosing to do. Like, this isn't what I want to do. I don't want to be in my car and I really miss my son and I don't do well being outside all day because that's just not what I do. I'm generally a vampire in that I prefer being up at night and sleeping during the day because the sun turns my skin a bright crispy color <laughs> that makes me tired and cranky and all those things and I really just miss my son and I just want my house back. I don't want to not feel like a failure anymore. <laughs> but it's hard not to feel that way with everything going on. The night did get a little more entertaining, other than Duster licking my face. There has been grads um, racing each other in grocery carts in the parking lot I'm in. It just kind of reminded me of when I was younger and the silly things we used to do. So um, they had me laughing, so that helped a lot. So I apparently picked a good parking lot. And Duster is currently licking away all my tears because he's a good boy. So good night and um, see you tomorrow.